When he was just 17 years old, Freddie Freeman was drafted by the Atlanta Braves. That same year, Chipper Jones was the man in Atlanta, having another incredible year for the only team he'd ever play for. Chipper Jones was, and still is, a class act, someone who was loyal to his team, which is something you don't see too often anymore, and will always be a big face of that franchise. Little did anyone know in 2007, but the young man the team drafted would later take over the mantle that Chipper had all these years as captain and leader of the Atlanta Braves. We all know what ended up happening with Freddie. As far as if he was a class act about it, well, you be the judge. Freddie Freeman is now a Dodger, and it seems like he may have just thrown some shade over at his former team. Freddie Freeman went out and had his rookie season in 2011 and did pretty well, as he hit 282 with a 795 OPS, finishing just second in the Rookie of the Year vote. Ironically, Freddie hit into a double play to end the Brave season that year, eliminating them from the postseason and ending Chipper Jones' 19-year career, one that lasted all in Atlanta. So with the longtime Brave and team leader Chipper gone off into retirement, Freddie was the new man in town. The very next year in 2012, Freeman hit 256 with an OPS one single point higher than the last at 796. But then 2013 arrived, his career absolutely took off, and Freddie Freeman has failed to ever look back. In 2013, Freddie hit 319 with an 897 OPS, became an all-star for the first time in his career, became an all-star again in 2014, had another solid year in 2015, then said screw it and put up MVP numbers yearly starting in 2016. In 2016, Freddie hit 34 home runs and 43 doubles, following that up with 28 homers and 35 doubles in 2017, then played all 162 games for the Braves in 2018, doing that for the second time since 2014, becoming an all-star that year and the next, and leading the Braves to four straight division titles. He won MVP in the shortened 2020 season and followed that up with his fifth all-star appearance, 31 home runs, a 300 batting average, and a big contributor to the Atlanta Braves' first World Series title since 1995. He has been absolutely everything you want and more. He's good offensively, obviously, we just went over that. He's a solid defender over at first base, and he's also a great teammate, leader, and overall good person who you'll rarely see not smiling on the baseball field. He's incredibly friendly and has been the face of the Braves since around 2013. Now, that's no more. At the start of free agency, most people seem to predict that Freddie would be signing back with the Braves. It's the only team he's ever known. He loves it there. They love him there. They're a winning team. Literally just won the World Series. I mean, what more could you want? Well, apparently it might have been a lot. Freddie Freeman will not go out like Chipper Jones because Freddie Freeman has signed a six-year deal with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now, at first, you might be thinking the Dodgers gave him more money, so it's obvious as to why he left Atlanta, and they did. Well, sort of. Kind of. To sum it up, the Braves offered Freeman a contract worth $140 million over the course of five years. That's a $28 million annual salary. What Freeman ended up accepting was a deal from the Dodgers worth $162 million over the span of six years. That's a $27 million annual salary. So he chose one more year for a little less annually, but that's not all. I'm not going to go into the details, but the taxes in California are of course brutal compared to those of Georgia. So add that on to Freddie's new Dodger contract and he may be making less overall than he would have with the Braves. Chipper Jones is heartbroken, even saying he feels like he lost a little brother, because that's the kind of relationship the two men had with each other. He talked to Freeman here and there throughout this process, and after all of it went down, said that from his conversations with Freddie, he feels he wanted to stay, but doesn't think the way that he and his camp handled it was the way to make it happen. As for Freddie, he seems excited to be a Dodger and go back to his hometown LA, and even went as far as to throw some shade over at the Braves. While speaking with reporters at his Dodgers press conference, Freeman was asked how he felt when the Braves traded for Matt Olson from Oakland, responding that he was blindsided, felt every emotion, and was hurt. His father also recently said something on that matter, someone who was with Freeman when the trade went down, saying, quote, he was in shock, can't believe it. Why didn't they tell me? How did this happen? Out of nowhere. They didn't tell me they were moving on. How does that happen? End quote. You then have the biggest one. 
when Freeman kind of rolled his eyes and basically scoffed at Braves general manager Alex Anthopoulos' reaction to him leaving. Just recently at spring training, Anthopoulos teared up when discussing Freddie's departure from Atlanta. So Freddie himself was asked about that, and this is what he had to say. What do you make of Anthopoulos' tears? Hmm? Anthopoulos' tears. Um, <laughs> I saw him. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'll say. It definitely seems as if the relationship between those two men has soured, at least on Freddie's end. As Bob Nightingale once famously said, Freddie Freeman may be gone, but he'll be forgotten. Classic Bob. Let me know how you feel about all this, and thank you for watching.